hello 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 and welcome to another video so in this video i'll be breaking down or showing you what really transformed my trading right so this actually it changed how i view trading uh, because once i understood it and i actually saw it happening in my trading account uh, that the possibilities became endless from there onwards because i knew that majority of my trades i'll never exit them in a negative i knew that majority of my trades I'll always exit in a positive. So I won't exit in a negative. I won't exit with a small loss, but I knew that majority I'll be exiting with a positive or in, 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 in small profit in, in essence. So what I'm about to show you will actually help you as well in terms of how you view trading so that you can also start getting paid from trading, right? So necessar necessarily you don't have to only get paid when the market starts moving in your favor or in your direction so by that i mean pips you don't only have to get paid in pips but you can also just get paid for holding for for holding your your, your position right just having your position open you can also get paid in that sense right so that is what i'm about to talk to you about and, and show you in this video right so a technical term for it it's called carry trade so essentially that is where you're using interest rates to actually get paid right i'm gonna explain everything in a minute but this is the gbp jpy trade that i explained in that in the in the video that i did last night uh and we're gonna move on to the trade that i really want to show you or that i really want to talk about today right so this is aud nzd and i've been holding this position for a very very long time so this is on the weekly time frame. As you can see, it's two positions. Uh, one from last year, 2023. Yeah, both positions are from 2023, essentially. But this is the weekly time frame. And you can see, yes, the market is, has moved in my direction. But that's not really the reason why I'm still holding, right? There isn't much of a divergence here. By divergence, I mean that there isn't much of uh, one central bank or one currency or economy going in the other direction and the other one going in the opposite direction because that is what creates a trend. Right. So there isn't really here between the Australian dollar and the New Zealand dollar, but interest rate wise, we are in a good position. Right. So I'm going to now take you to a screenshot. A screenshot of these are the two positions that I've just shown you. So this is the swap that I have here. As you can see, this is the swap. And as you can see, my swap is positive. So I started earning. OK, these are the pips that I currently have running, but I started earning immediately on the second day that I had my position opened, right? So now you might be asking yourself, well, how do I get that? How do how, how do you how do you earn a positive swap, right? How do you only or how do you make some sort of profits not only by the market moving in your direction in terms of pips, but by also just holding your position, right? So like I explained to you, it's all about understanding interest rates. So this trade is essentially based on interest rates. So when it comes to interest rates, remember I explained the whole situation of how everything works when it comes to interest rates so when it comes to the swap you need to know that a swap so i just took a, a a google definition of it to make things easier for everyone so in forex trading you calculate the swap rates based on the interest rates differential between the currencies being traded right so it is the difference between the two currencies being traded that is the rate at which you would exchange interest in one currency for interest in another currency so to simplify it for you and to simplify it for everyone so what this means is that if you are buying a currency pair so it's an example here perfect example that i have is my position that i currently have running which is aud nzd so i have sold so direction is sell right as you can see direction is sell so what does that mean that means that i have bought New Zealand, right? And I've sold Australia, right? So this means that my interest rate exchange or my exchange in interest rates is for a, is, is, is for a what? Is for is an Australian dollar for a New Zealand dollar, essentially, right? Because I've bought New Zealand dollar and I'm selling Australian dollar. So what that means is that the currency pair that I buy should have a higher interest rates than the currency pair that I sell then i will earn that positive what that positive like they explained here that positive what in interest rate differential between the two currencies so that is essentially what it means right so if 
if we go back to my trade actually let's go to my spreadsheet so i can try and show you guys so if we look at interest rates here we can see that this is australia right and we can see that uh, this is with new zealand this is new zealand down here right so these are the interest rates as you can see so interest rates in australia it's 4.35 percent interest rates in new zealand are currently at 5.5 percent so what is the difference between the two 5.5 minus 4.35 because remember i bought new zealand sorry yeah i bought new zealand and i sold australia so the difference between the two it's positive right because i bought the one with the higher interest rates essentially to simplify it if you buy the currency with the higher interest rates against the currency with the lower interest rates it's called a carry trade right so there you are earning interest every single night so your broker is paying you interest every single night so if i open my position in the morning today once it once it is overnight and it's the next day i should get an interest payment but then always remember that interest rates are calculated in what interest rates are calculated in interest rates are actually calculated in annualized in annualized calculations so it doesn't mean that you'll be getting the difference between the two every single day but that difference will be in increments that are calculated annually right so that is how you can start getting paid or making sure that you never leave the tra the table empty right or empty handed you never close your trades uh in in, 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 in not in profits you never you never um, only get paid once you essentially get paid twice because you get paid if the trade moves in your direction in pips and also you get paid if the trade is all obviously if you're on the right side of interest rates right so that is what just what i wanted to share with you guys that this is something that opened my mind when i when, when i when i realized this and i realized that oh i can actually get paid twice right so how interesting is it or how beneficial is it to know that you're getting paid from the day you open your position what that does or what that did for me i'm not let me not say what that does what that did for me it allowed me to actually hold my trades and become patient and that is why i can easily hold a trade for months or weeks right until it actually gives me thousands and thousands of pips because i know i'm not worried because i know that i am getting paid every single day that the trade is actually running right so that is what i wanted to share with you guys and i hope that it makes sense and if you are unclear about anything like i always say let me know in the comments if you want me to explain anything more clearer let me know in the comments but then uh yeah this is what really really helped me to elevate my trading and move to the next level and some of you would ask me how 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 am i able to hold hold my positions for so long this is the reason why because i'm not only getting paid based on the trade moving in my direction i'm also getting paid based on interest right because i'm on the right side of interest rates and how why am i on the right side of interest rates because i understand this whole framework that we discussed in our first video right i know what really moves the markets is interest rates what really moves the markets is growth dynamics or gdp dynamics so with that understanding i use it to my advantage and yeah and i and, and like i said most trades i know that i will never leave the, the i'll never exit the trade empty-handed right so as an example even if even if with these with these uh trades that i have running on aud uh these trades that i have running on aud nzd even if the market were to come back and actually stop me out yes it's a small profit it's only 19 dollars here six dollars here but then i know that i'm not leaving the trade empty-handed right and even still i'm comfortable holding because i know every single day the broker is paying me whether the trade moves in my direction even if the trade can move sideways for days every single night i am getting paid and i know that and i understand that right so there that is what i wanted to share with everyone and i hope it makes sense and it's clear and if you'd like to know more just uh like i said let me know in the comments and if you found any value in this video like the video subscribe to the channel and obviously turn on the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever i upload more videos right and my videos uh they actually get uploaded at 9 a.m south african time so that is 9 a.m gmt plus two uh that is when you can expect my videos that's if you have not turned in the, the notification bell so at 9 a.m south african time that is that is when you can expect a video from me right so yeah like i said enjoy the rest of your day and happy trading